Hey, what's up everyone? Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're playing some more Terra Invicta, continuing here with our Resistance campaign. And between episodes, I went through and decided to upgrade some of our ships. Uh, one of the big ones we were able to upgrade is our Naru class. So our Naru class went from 131 power to 207. I was able to swap it over to the newer engine that we just uh, researched, as well as some of the newer stuff. Um, but yeah, significantly better. And the funny thing is, it's actually a little cheaper now as well. So um, I think I think it uses a little more metal but other than that it's like a lot cheaper and significantly better um i also went ahead and designed ourselves the ripley class one battleship so i was debating here between a battleship and between a uh what was the other one uh design ship the battleship versus the dreadnought ultimately the dreadnought i was able to get it to like 420 combat strength give or take um but then the battleship the one that we were able to make here with the ripley is 408 so it didn't really seem that much better for building the ship that's going to cost a little bit more take a little bit more time to build and also use up more control points this one just seemed like a better option decide to go with ripley because i feel like this is going to be a good ship to kind of punch above its weight you know it's going to be able to take on the aliens you know 1v1 uh which you know wouldn't necessarily always be the case with some of our other ones the hunt class i tried upgrading the problem is I really don't have a better engine for it right now, so I couldn't really get it much better. So we may try phasing those out eventually. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't think there's anything else we could do with it. But anyways, our Ripley class here is now rolling around with our brand new engine as well as the molten core fission 3 the alien exotic nanowire the tim droplet radiator and since we have that uh i don't think we have to deploy heat sinks so we don't have a heat sink on it we do have the neutronium spiker we got the component armor we got the ecms and then we got the double ammo i was looking and so with the hades nuclear torpedoes these guys shoot at two um um geez a second so i ended up deciding that maybe the crates are a little bit better because they're only slightly faster and so because of that i feel like like i don't want missiles that are gonna like arrive at the target well before our nukes because if that's the case then it'll be very easy to shoot down our nukes so i was trying to get a slightly sh slower missile there that'll hopefully kind of um um uh, evade or be able to get some of the distraction going so our nukes could actually penetrate um, then we went straight up armor or straight up like we just mixed up our weapons there and then we got our normal armor there so i think this is gonna be a really really good ship for us we're gonna start popping it out we are currently however upgrading our two ships right now our monitors we could build it at some of our other stations but i'm hesitant to do that because you know i don't know a little worried we could also maybe switch up scipio station and throw another I mean, it wouldn't take long. I just, I'm worried about the aliens just being like, mm, and then going and blowing it up. So that's why I kind of just want to keep everything together with our um, Scipio station, because that's where the bulk of our fleet is. And the thing is, those ships aren't going to be that expensive. They're about 400 a pop. So let's think about this. We, they were at like 5K, right? And we're at like 1K, so we need 4K. So theoretically then, we need another 10 ships. Uh, which would be another 30, which would actually be acceptable and still wouldn't piss the aliens off. Although I'm pretty sure once we, you know, blow up their fleet, they might attack out at us. But I think that's going to be an okay ship for us to start popping out. I think so. I think so. Maybe we can bait some of the aliens away. All right. So we need to control the Eurasia Union now, Russia. Um, let's go ahead and defend our interests here. I'm a little worried about someone going ahead and throwing a... Let's actually have you do the defend interest. And Diana can actually go ahead and stabilize. I think might be a little bit better for us. I, I, I'm hesitant to stabilize. God, you're still freaking captured, man. I'm hesitant to stabilize only because... Um, I'm gonna let you go to ground because I don't want it to flip and then us lose control of it. So that's kind of my thoughts there. Slash my worries there. You're gonna defend here. I'm wondering now nah, we don't really need to take the other ones I think we're I think we're fine. So let's hope that we can actually get it protect target Hopefully 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 no one goes and flips the thing We need to worry about the rest of our countries here right now as well But project available aliens suffer negative two on enthrall Negative three and terrorize negative three and abduction Actually seems pretty good community policing drones. I like it <laughs> Actually, I hate it. I, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrifying, man. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Okay. Mega Font does 50% less damage to our regions. Uh, the population loss from nuclear strikes, eh, maybe not. But, uh, okay, Kexton's back. Good. Great Lakes has been conquered. That's, I mean, gonna happen. So, there's really nothing here that the aliens aren't gonna be able to conquer, so. All right, project complete, compact solid, uh, core fission reactor five. Nice. Now, we actually could throw that. I'm pretty sure that's the one we are using on the hunt. Now, now, but I can actually put it on. Yeah, and it's worth a little bit more. Doesn't really help our power, but it does help us just a teeny, teeny bit. Be just a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit faster. This really isn't that good of a ship for us right now. I might end up having to, um, I might decommission them as we start introducing new ships. Might not be a bad idea, honestly. Can I? Oh, I can't unpause because we need a new project. Okay, then. Dude, wormholes is really, 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 really tempting. So this is going to go the exact same speed as our nukes. They do a lot of damage, too. I'm also really tempted about this. How expensive is it? It's only 10k. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't think, um... We were unable to increase security. Like, even if we lose the other EU, I think it's still okay. Because, like, what we're essentially doing... By the way, this is kind of crazy up here with the, um... The clouds. Protectorate and Cuba. I think it's still okay because it's gonna, like, just give us a route in between the two. And remember, we have Canada. We have some of the US. Like, I think, ultimately, I think this is good for us. Academy fails purge mission. Well, good thing for the defense. Yeah, those are actually helping us. Actually, you know what? It's probably because Al got defended. Yeah, probably probably a mix of the two. Uh, there are alien life forms now. Assault, 78%. I'm good with that. I'm not going to worry about bumping you up. Um, okay, our hacker buddy. Let's go ahead and do some surveilling here. Keep an eye out. How goes the EU right now? It's at three, which is fine. Fine. You're at 1.1. You China's doing really good, except we lost some popularity here. Again. Which probably still fine. Uh, we're gonna have you protect target. I'm going to go ahead and take our diplomat to public campaign here. We probably need a public campaign in the Eurasia as well. Uh Kamali, let's go ahead and stabilize here. Actually, Eurasia's Extraordinarily peaceful. Oh, you know what the problem is? Spoils. Yeah, that was the bigger issue. No. Yeah. So I'm wondering if stabilizing is even worth it then. Probably not. What about uh, crackdown? 12%. I don't need them though. No. It's a GDP. Pretty bad actually. Pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it over here on the we'll uh, the original safe. EU. Yeah. And then our activists can go ahead and increase our public support. Support. Please tell our story. Okay. I I'm feeling pretty happy with where oh, we're at right safe. now. And the fact that we control the Russian territorial defense platoon. How expensive are you? How expensive are you? We might want to grab that right away. 10k as well. Meh. Yeah, we'll have to wait here. What was this one? Enemies steal and sabotage. Eh, that's fine. Water purification's almost done. Okay. Um, wait, weren't we supposed to get tech here in July? July 18, 2040. Yeah, that's the new one. I remember this now because we finished it in June. So you're in August. You're in December. You're in November. That's fine. They're fine. Uh, nuclear hardening. Eh. I thought we already had that one, actually. Uh, humanity first stole some of our stuff, but honestly, I'm okay with that because, you know, I'd actually would have given that one for free to them. I really would. Uh, 
Because we're not it's really in direct competition against them right now. So, if they want to go ahead and help us with that, I'm fine with that. Or, you know, build a bigger fleet without pissing the aliens off. That's fine. Honestly, whatever we can do to keep the aliens from being pissed at us is probably not a bad idea. And I actually wonder... We hadn't really looked at it. But I'm wondering if the aliens are going to start moving away. I am kind of wondering that. So let's see if anyone else is currently coming to low Earth orbit. In low Earth orbit. 77 is the big fleet. Still at 5k here. Doesn't look like they're moving away, but it doesn't look like they're adding anything to it. Is that 11 missiles? I don't actually remember what that means. It's been a minute here. What do our fleet have? Six. Two, four, six. Ah, uh, it's total number of ships. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Hmm. Those motherships are going to be freaking annoying. For sure. Alien, uh, there are current aliens doing missions. I don't know if we want to try catching them. Just because it probably isn't worth it, but I don't know. I'm like, I'm at this point where we're really close to being able to fight back against the aliens. So I kind of just don't really want to piss off the aliens right now. Because we're about to really piss them off. So <laughs> just kind of like hide in our own corner of the universe right now for a little bit uh and then get ready to strike them when they have their backs not looking at us that looks really sexy by the way oh my lord Woo! so that is one freaking um influence that is two on the ops that is one persuasion one investigation one espionage one science holy crap dude is that 470 a month? No, just a straight 470. Still, totally worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. So he's he's getting better. Oh, uh, you know, I was gonna level him up. I forgot about that. We'll have to level up after the end of the episode. Uh or at next before next episode. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to look at him. Does he have XP right now? He has 12. Not really. Diana Banks, I don't really care about leveling up. Kamali. She's already at 25 on security. Let's give her one more on the espionage then. And then we can just go straight into science from here on out. Because I don't think I need persuasion with her. Our activist. I still probably want to go a little higher. Yeah, we were going to do this later. But yeah, I kind of want to get to 10 on the security. I feel. I feel like that's safe. Then you're going to go espionage as well. Please. And yeah, apparently we're just doing this. No, can't do anything, can't do anything. Okay, that's fine. And then I will get science. Perfect. Get a little more science. I don't mind more science. Seems great. Okay, so confirm assignments. So we are good now, still here. We need to keep Tom defending. On guard. Then I'm gonna have Let's Diana go investigate the alien activity and we'll have Kamali go ahead and investigate the alien that is currently doing crazy things here. 61%, 93. We're just hoping it's not Alpha 20 because Alpha 20 can piss off. <laughs> I don't like Alpha 20, man. Not at all. You keep public campaigning here. We got a ways to go before we're actually popular, but that's probably fine. We don't have any aliens to destroy. No, we do not. Um, how are we looking here? We did drop a little bit. We did drop a little bit. I'm doing an advise over here. I will help Probably out. need to, like, protect ourselves again. Uh, are we defended? Yes. China, we just recently defended. Uh, you know what? We need to go ahead and defend. Can you stabilize? Are you good at that at all? Not really. Surveilling. We need to go ahead and then take What's Eloise the to defend Canada. Before we forget again. What about U.S.? We're actually defended there still. Okay, so once again, we would like to take over the rest of the U.S., but that's a long way away. Um, What we're going to end up doing here 
We can't do it yet. No. We can't do it yet. But as soon as we have complete control, we are going to go ahead and probably break off Ukraine and some of the other things that we can get to join the EU. I think that's going to be the goal. Because, like, ultimately, here's the thing. We have more control over the EU than we do over the new EU, the secondary EU, <laughs> the Eurasia Union. So, yeah. Exotic armor. I mean, once again, I would just make these trades with you, buddy. Just throwing that out there, man. It's Alpha 20. All right, well... Have fun, Alpha 20, because I'm not going to mess with you. I kind of wish I could be like, hey, everyone, Alpha 20 alien right here, and hopefully get, like, humanity first to try murdering them. That, that would that would be nice. Mali was conquered. So, yeah, Africa's fallen here pretty hard, man. But I don't know they can go beyond Africa. I really don't think they can. Yoko Station. Good, 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 good. I mean... We're we're armied here. We're ready. What is actually our army at? So you're at 4.6, which is fine. What's the EU at? 4.6. It's going up. I'm go ahead and do some more direct investments in it. it shut up. I, I know. Um, like 22. Give us just a little bit more in the military. It's actually ticking down right now, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Hmm. What's the up? Yeah, it is ticking down right now. I wonder about lowering... Let's lower mission control just a little bit. Space defense, I kind of think is worth it. Welfare, I definitely think is worth it. I think welfare kind of counteracts against it, right? So that's partly what's happening. Okay, so how are we looking in the EU? We're going to need more advising. I know that because just having problems all day long. You don't really need to worry about stabilizing, but we do have alien life forms that we want to assault. So go ahead and do that. Uh, Canada's protected. US is protected. You can public campaign in the new EU. Uh, please. When is it actually done? Uh, when do we have complete? 132 days. Okay. Then our kingpin. We could do some assassinations. Thirty-three percent. You can't lower. You know what? I'm gonna let her do that, and then Kamali. Instead, I'm gonna have you stabilize the EU. Restoring order. Just get it lowered again. And then our hacker is bad at persuasion, so keep scanning. I should just put him on permanent. Same thing with the defend dude. For the time being. Advice complete. Surveil, we're going to do permanent assignment. Protect, we're going to do permanent assignment. Just for the time being. Just kind of keep the uh, Eurasia Union R's. Water purification techniques. Great. That is awesome. Still only at 110. I think it needs to like tick. I don't think it's ticked yet. I really want wormholes. But there was another one we just got that I was like, okay, that actually seems really nice. Uh, boost priority. It was... Territorial defense. It's 10k. Kind of expensive for a 5% boost, which admittedly is not great. I kind of almost want to go with the ECM Mark III. 60% chance to stop alien missiles. That seems worth it. That does seem really worth it. So we're basically at this point just preparing for the worst. We're just like, we're, we're improving our tech as best as we can. Brian, go underground, for the love of God. I keep forgetting about that. Who is getting everything stolen? Ah, uh, Eloise. Of course it is her. It's always her. It's always her. Prepping for mission. But, once again, I don't really care. Like, I mean, I don't want them stealing stuff from me, but, you know, it's fine. We can now do Pegasus Drive. Hmm. Pegasus Drive worth anything? Pegasus. Once again, I wish we could kind of easily look at what we currently have. Um, it's going to be Pegasus. 
10.6, Excuse me, 10.6, 5.3. Oh my gosh. 10.6, 5.3. Uh, that's actually better than the fission. And it's both liquid core as well. So we could immediately then just upgrade our Ripley class. And I think Naru too, because those were liquid cores. So, all right. Go for the Pegasus class then next time we get it. The Pegasus base defense online in LA. That's probably good. I've seen enough alien movies to know that LA would be quickly targeted. Declared war on another African nation. Aliens declared war on Japan. Okay. Now that is a lot more interesting. Japan should be pretty baller here on... Yeah, they're at 6.4. So we're going to see, because I would assume the aliens are going to come and try evading Japan like they did with Indonesia. Naru is done. Naru is done. Okay. So with our double Naru done, it's time for us to start building... I mean, honestly, getting more Naru is not the worst thing. Uh, the other thing is with the Naru, I didn't mention this when I was talking about how I upgraded the ship, but I did end up putting its uh, 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 its Delta V to be equal to our new uh, Ripley class. So, 111 days. Remember, we did get the 5% boost. So, I think it was, what, like 120 before, 115? Yeah, probably 115 would probably be 5%, right? Yeah, because that would be, f yeah, probably like 116, 117, actually, if we're talking 5%, but still, close enough. We have some new organizations, okay. Let us see if we got anything we can give him. Uh, US, can you stop declaring rivals, man? Someone else just, Project Axis, did he just gain control of it for the first time? Hmm. Uh, no, nothing that we can grab. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um... So, Diana, Ready to go. I'm going to send you underground, Evading even though you're not giving away our secrets right now. At your service. Eloise is going to go underground. For orders. Man, I would really love it if I could just, like, sabotage. Is there anything I can sabotage here with the aliens? I mean, I could sabotage their space defense complexes, but that doesn't really help. We could send them to orbit and then maybe go assault alien stuff up there, but I don't think so. What do those mean? Question. Assault enemy space asset. That's enemy hab. And then control space asset is persuasion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering if she could just like physically do damage to an alien spaceship, which it doesn't look like. And honestly, it would be probably a little weird if she could do it. So, um, question really quickly. The aliens no longer control. No, they still do. Okay. I don't know if we want to flip Indonesia. I'm just trying to see if there's any other servant kind of thing that I want to get rid of. You're defended. You're defended. So we're actually pretty okay over here still. Um, I think I'm just going to send you to ground as well. Just get Standing everyone back. off our butt. This is Project Exodus. GDP is going up. Let's keep stabilizing them here. The I'm not really too worried about Hungering Exodus down. right now. Hungering down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming for my mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honor or for Miyoko. Launch. Someday they're going to actually I'll blow up Miyoko safe. Station, or someday I'm going to blow them up. One of the two is going to happen. Hopefully the latter of the two. And hopefully at that point... The, here's the one thing that I'm wondering is going to happen. Because, you know, they're at 5k above us right now. I imagine their total combat strength is probably close to like 100k. So, I'm just worried I blow up their 5k fleet and then they send 100k worth of fleets at me. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's kind of the concern right now. Also, can we talk about how the whole EU here has only four points? As pretty horrible GDP. As pretty horrible. Pacific states, whatever. 
Till the aliens are at war with like the US, I don't think it matters. Um, they are launching in on Japan. Here we go. We got double army against double army. Actually, triple army against double army. I think Japan's gonna easily kick their butts. I really do think that's gonna be a very easy thing, but we we'll shall see. We shall very much station. see. All right, Eloise, I would love to inspire you. Unfortunately, I can't inspire you. I do kind of think she might be compromised. Even though I've investigated her, someone mentioned that the only way to actually stop it is to inspire them. I could fire her. I mean, she has 25 persuasion. It's not like she's bad. Yeah, it's not like she's bad. We must persuade the people. The thing is, I need someone else to... Specifically, I need Diana Banks to actually be able to... Uh, inspire. I don't think she had something that stopped her from inspiring. Right? Embedded, spev, fluent, hard target, force tracker, data jack, scrambler, streetwise. No, she just didn't have the ability yet. Just rolling through here real quick just to see whether or not there's one that I can give her. Protect target. Dude, there's some really good stuff here, man. Plus two. Oof. Space mining, advise, advise, stabilize. I really should just like start going through all our crap and find some new ones, but yeah, once again, doesn't look like I have the option. Uh, Tommy, can't really do anything. Okay, well, sure, that's fine. Confirm assignments, I don't know what I wanna do. Let us have you investigate? Now, let's just have you advise. Offering assistance. Because we would really we like to get this information age into robotic age before we actually start a war. Ideally. But it's going to be a minute. Um, we should double check on America. We need to defend it. I'm glad I actually double checked on it. Because that would have been really awkward. She's actually spotted. Did she not just go underground? Interesting. Standing by for orders. I'll ensure their loyalty. Acknowledged. Yeah. Ensuring Defend complete. I believe Inspire success. Vehicles. How much? Who knows? Advice complete. Initiate. Now, the thing is, and I flip them back, I would assume I wouldn't actually get an alert. Like, I don't think it would tell you that so-and-so is no longer an agent for so-and-so. I wouldn't think so, just because I just kind of feel like, you know, if I was an enemy agent, I wouldn't like admit when all of a sudden I get um, convinced to no longer be it. When I'm like, oh, you know what? I actually kind of agree with them now. I don't think I would come out and announce that to the world. I think I would kind of keep that to myself personally. All right, so the aliens are actually wrecking the Japanese army. Wow. Seriously? Uh, Turkey controls Iraq now. Uh, the second army, though, is doing some damage. Yeah, the third army is incoming. Okay, they'll be fine because they got the third army. Yeah, wow. That that was bad, though. They really lost that first army. I don't know why that first army got their butts kicked so hard. Uh, okay. So, they say there's new stuff here. Somehow, I don't believe anything. Hey, I lied. Purchase. Puts this at 19. Purchase. Which is at 23. We can only afford three more, just FYI. Um, definitely give me the plus two on the command. And give me the military science research, please. That seems nice, as well as the command. And I can only get one more right now. Space mining output 55% or plus one security plus protect target, which he already has. 
Huh. Or we can get 1.25 boost. Just give me the 5% mining. We're gonna be boring. By the way, how are we looking at? 205? Not bad. Um. On our Mars. We have 23 powers, so I can't do a farm. <sighs> You're at 43. So I can do a farm here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some farms out here in space. Um, I should be able to do, not a solar array, because that's only gonna give us 14, the fission reactor array. array. So we're going to do that and then another farm. Yeah, I'm just going to throw some of these farms out. I don't think we have the power here. No. We don't have the power here, but I can do the fission into the farm. And I think we skipped one. Yeah, right there. Fission in farm. Okay. And I don't know about Mercury, but I think we're okay. Dude, those tanks look interesting. Oh no, I don't want to not do anything. Uh, Candace, fine. How's the EU? Are we defended? We're defended. Eurasia Union is defended. And then China. Defended. So we're good across the board. So Diana Banks, I'm going to send you underground again. I'm actually going to go ahead and investigate Diana Banks. Because I'm a little worried why she was still being spotted that to me is a little weird we're also going to do another increase um and hopefully we'll get a good idea what's happening there um 2.4 gdp is fine we'll keep doing gdp here is there anything with the national policy we can do actually grand independency terry no no lending no. my expertise and then we got 85 days so we still have a ways to go then and then we're good okay confirm Next. Go to ground complete. We'll be ready for new She's orders. no longer spotted, for I what it's worth. We Inspire. We can't tell how much. Advise. Militech went up 0.1. Or 4.3, which is fine. Z pinch techniques is now done, which is going to then take us to coil guns. Z pinch gives us what? Is staging nuclear explosions in thrusters it looks like okay sure it'll be fine for now so what are you at you're at 6.2 right now uh i would assume that the alien army has left not yet but they're about to loyalty is at 22 okay so she's totally fine at this point yeah aliens ran away or at least one of the alien army ran away Academy fleet has arrived in low Mars orbit. Interesting. It's only 37. We're also not directly at war with them, so I don't think they're going to do anything to us. I'm not too worried about that. Low Earth orbit cleanup. Um, okay, so... Allowed when our faction controls zero regions with active space defenses. Debris will decrease by six. Grants a public opinion boost. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, no, nah, spend, spend, spend the money, man. Spend all the money. Which, by the way, money is a little low right now. So, probably should avoid spending money here for a little bit of time. Yeah, our income is just not amazing. Ooh, okay. Ooh, also okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and start building new habitats on some of these planets. Just FYI. That's an interesting looking... Does that look like alien, like, markings and stuff? It's kind of strange. Where's the actual base? There it is. So, we want to go ahead and throw just a outpost mining. And then... Going to have to probably do a fission pile here. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. So, that's going to give us a little bit more on the resource side of things, which admittedly, yeah, it does take us up by one, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's worth it, I think. For like an extra 20-20? I think so. 
North Korea actually has an open control point. That is strange. I wish we had a... What I would love to see is a country list here. And it would actually show you whether or not it's locked. That would be really nice to see. Just as a quick, like, just quick reference, man. China's locked. Japan, I think, is going to win. Aliens are actually attacking North Korea? No, the aliens are moving through North Korea. Okay. No one actually owns North Korea. I don't think there's a way to make you part of China. Because part of me is all about just making you part of China. I think that would be interesting to say the least. Also, hey, we went to 489 here. It's quite nice. What did we, did we lose something? I don't think so. Uh, also, does North Korea have nukes? They have a nuke. So you know what? I'm gonna go grab North Korea here. Establishing our presence. Yeah. And What's then the we're gonna say, hey aliens, get off my territory because you don't belong here. So, something along those lines. Uh, I think our inspection and everything was good. Let's go ahead and lower, stabilize again in we'll the EU. The we will go ahead and inspire her one more time, which sure should probably max her out. I don't know, Ready we'll see. And then you just keep advising right assistance. now. We're at 4.6, we want you to just keep going up. I like it. And then we don't have to spend money. I believe they'll stay loyal to Critical their success, boss. nice. Advice Offer complete. Um, I'm just gonna do permanent right now. I don't really have anything else I'm wanting to do with her right now. I'll so. keep them safe. I'll keep them safe. Probe arrives. 20 and 52. Hell yeah, dude. Mm. Mm. So we're going to find an outpost at Ryan's Ascent. And admittedly, remember, Aelin should be okay with us doing this. Because... Uh... Because we're not really pissing them off right now. So, we'll see. I mean, we're not getting any alerts about them moving towards us, so I think we're okay. And this is still all inner asteroid stuff. None of us can even go to Jupiter and beyond yet, which is fine. That's going to take like almost two years actually set up. So, Order we should probably get the one that, that one priority where our stuff speeds up when it's outside ideal orbit. But, oh well, we'll get there eventually. We got to wrap this. No, we don't. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, is the U.S. coming in to help? <gasps> the U.S. is coming in to help? Or wait, is the U.S. coming in to hurt? The U.S. is at war with Japan. Okay. Um, we might need to go control the U.S. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Another really good one, dude. This is all, just all volatiles in water, which admittedly, I'm still okay with. Because we do need water and we do need volatiles. So. Vision. That one's only 375. So you can see this one is more in the ideal launch range. Because it's taking like almost half the time. Mission abort. Uh, control mission aborted. What are the odds of us actually flipping the US? Hmm. I mean. Here's the worst part about that. Remember the US only has like two armies right now. <laughs> so I would rather them not go, you know, waste their army. Going in hot. Where to? Seems like kind of a bad idea. Did we actually get the control? Oh, we got it taken from us. Hmm. Ready. Kamali, you're pretty baller. What are the odds of you flipping? One percent. 15%? It'd probably be easier just to do another coup. <laughs> probably. No, actually. Still, it probably would be easier long term to do a coup. Um, We're gonna go ahead and have you crack down then over here. You know, just use all the influence. I don't, I don't need the influence, so. Um, because most likely what's going to end up happening here is they're going to end up flipping it. Uh, then public campaign, probably China? Yeah, we did lose a lot in China right now. We're still fairly safe. Making our case. Why are we trying to grab North Korea? 
I mean, there's not like a specific reason for it, but it's more about just keeping the a, uh, enemies like it's there's a nuke there. OK, so the whole goal is to kind of keep the um, AI servants, particularly from setting off nukes in my territory. It's kind of my thought process behind it. So we're going to public campaign. I think we could come up here eh, and Maybe do some in Eurasia for now. I there's a lot happening. On guard. That's another pretty nice one. <sighs> 532 days is kind of outside the ideal launch range. Just do it. Just do it. Might as well, I guess. I don't know. My thought process is we might eventually need these when the war begins we might be like we might need whatever we can take i kind of wish we had other resources there but yeah uh it doesn't look like the u.s is gonna win we nope they're gonna lose uh successful crackdown in north korea the good 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 public campaign in eurasia went up as well we're winning their hearts and minds man i really would like ah oh, shoot this is the problem now the aliens are coming Mm, that's bad. Yeah, that's really bad, man. Vapor core, we still don't need. Energy research center, I would love, but we really can't put it anywhere. I want the full spectrum. It's so expensive, though. It's only 5%, too. Human armies, build army, military. I mean, here's the thing. Alien robotics. Ships are built 5% faster. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Let's just do that one. That one's, like, 10 times better than the 30,000 one. And it's going to complete, like, way faster, too. So, let's see. November, November, June. February, August, November, November. I think this is fine. Um, we'll probably end up swapping some of those. I just want to finish that one as quickly as possible. Hopefully this alien army is not at full HP. Yoko Station. Uh, America's running. Japan's out of armies, though. Chile and Philippines. Uh, Philippines are owned by no one, so I'm not going to do anything then. Dude, the aliens taking over Japan would be catastrophic, just FYI. Probably not catastrophic, but it would be pretty freaking bad, man. It would be really, really, really bad. God dang it, America. Why'd you got to go do the crap, man? Ugh. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Okay, uh, we're pretty okay here now. Popularity is going up. I don't think it's gonna be super easy for anyone to flip it right now or do a coup, but who knows? We've said that in the past and it's been cooed pretty quickly, so who knows? Um, Diana, I'm gonna go ahead and have you go back to advising. My expertise. Your Kamali. Orders. He's gonna go to purging. Targeting the opposition. There's nothing I can do. I'm trying to think of any way to stop that Japanese war, but I just don't think there's anything I can do about it. So 40 days. Let's go ahead and increase public campaign. I yeah, we'll run a public campaign. Public at your service. I don't think defending over here is going to help either. Grr. Things looking great here. We could sabotage projects. Actually, don't hate that idea. Can we steal projects? No. I'll sabotage your projects. I'm going in. Yeah, why not? We don't like them. So, for now, let's wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. We're getting close, guys. Like, we are getting really, really close here. We're 32 days away from popping out a couple more ships. Then from there, we're going to pop out a couple more. Then from there, we're going to pop out a couple more. And from there, we're going to pop out a couple more. And then at that point, 
It might be go time. It might be go time. The aliens, I would assume, are still pretty strong. Like, I don't think we can see, like, their total fleet size here. And threat level says it's still apparently five, which, whatever. Whatever. If we zoomed out, what I would love to do, that's probably our next goal. So I think once we kick them off Earth, we're probably going to want to go to Jupiter and kick them off Ceres. And basically just stop their water. Right? Where's Jupiter, by the way? There it is. Or, wait, 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 wait. The series on Saturn. Phoebe's on Saturn. What the hell is Ceres? <laughs> I thought it was on Jupiter. I could have sworn it was Jupiter, but I am totally wrong on that. So, we want... Wrong button. Transfer planner. The solar system. I want alphabetical order. That's what we're looking for. There we go. Uh, oh, crap. We have all the stupid numbers. Ugh! There we go. We're on A, uh, C, series, series, chaos. Wait, there's literally one called chaos? That's actually kind of great. Series. Series is around... Is Ceres not... Is Ceres just a regular asteroid? Huh. Interesting. I always thought Ceres was a moon. Okay, now I gotta Google this. C-E-R-E-S. Ceres. Uh, dwarf planet. Between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, then. Completely wrong on that. And I can actually go there now. Still, point being, I think we want to go there. We could actually launch there. I think the aliens would stop us. But it would be kind of interesting to launch there and try taking over the servants. Huh. Interesting. I think I would still rather be in control of Earth before we go that far, though. But, alright. Anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.